You can easily make a body butter by melting down a butter of your choice, adding in some oil, letting it re-solidify, whip it up, and there you go. You got a beautiful, easy body butter. But why do our homemade body butters melt? And why are they so much more greasy compared to store-bought body butters? If you take a look at the ingredients on the back of any body butter from like Ulta, Amazon, or any other store that sells big brands, you'll see that water is the first ingredient. This is because these store-bought body butters are basically just lotions with butter added into them. And this is called an emulsified body butter. And this means there is a high amount of water with a lower amount of oil and butters mixed into it using an emulsifier. And most of the time, what I've noticed from store-bought body butters is they always include some kind of gelling agent, which is known as a polymer. I talked a lot about polymers in my last video, so I'll link that video in the description box if you guys want to learn more about polymers. But polymers will give the body butter a bit of like jiggle, and normally lotions contain polymers as well but from my observation these body butters contain even more polymer to give it even more of a jiggle and that's sort of what makes it different from a lotion it has butter in it even though some lotions still have butter in them it has a higher percentage of polymers which gives it this like jiggliness and it's normally sold in a jar to give it this a body butter feel and honestly i could get into so much depth about these emulsified body butters so if you guys want to see a more in-depth video about these emulsified body butters let me know and i will create one for my formulating for beginners series which that series is perfect for beginners so if you're new to formulating go check out that series so you can learn everything you need to know about formulating so as you can already tell these store-bought body butters are so much different compared to our homemade body butters. The high amount of water is what keeps them from feeling as greasy or heavy on the skin compared to homemade body butters. And the emulsion, the water and oil mixed together, is what prevents it from melting. And this is a common question I am always getting from you guys. You guys really love body butters and body scrubs, so that's why I wanted to address this issue here on my channel. And also, I wanted to share with you guys my all-time favorite emulsified body butter. I actually was playing around and trying to dupe the Tree Hut body butter sometime last year, and I did end up doing that, so if you want to watch that video, I'll link it down below but I ended up trying this recipe and I liked it so much more and I've been wanting to share it with you guys since. And I did initially plan on selling this the body butter in my shop at some point. I never got around to stability testing or doing any kind of preservative testing, so I don't know anything about that in regards to this formula, but I decided to share it with you guys since you guys know I'm not selling product anymore. I'm just selling all the formulas to the products I used to sell on my website. So if you want the formulas to any products I used to sell, then go check out my website, terrilyskincare.com. And I do want to mention that there is nothing wrong with these homemade, more traditional body butters. And they're normally actually referred to as anhydrous body butters. Anhydrous means it only contains oil-soluble ingredients, so that's why they're called anhydrous body butters. And there's definitely nothing wrong with these body butters because a lot of people do prefer a more heavier product to moisturize their skin. But I know a lot of people struggle with selling homemade body butters during the summer months when it's hot and they just melt. So selling these emulsified body butters in the hotter months would be a great alternative. And then you can just go back and sell the anhydrous body butters in the colder months. And I know a lot of people don't prefer a heavier body butter. And I know when I first started out formulating, I was always so confused why my homemade body butters turned out so different compared to store-bought ones. So I hope this answers a lot of your guys' questions. I will have a blog version of this video over on my Patreon, so go check that out if you guys would like. And I'm going to be making a 800 gram batch, and I'm starting with phase A. And I'm combining 552 grams of distilled water, and then I'm going to add in 40 grams of glycerin with that. And that is it for phase A. So I'm going to remove the beaker from the scale, tear the scale so it says zero, place my beaker back on the scale, and then I'm going to write down how much this weighs. That's because we're going to be heating it up and some of the water is going to evaporate, so we're going to have to replace that. Now we're going to work on phase B, and I'm going to add in 32 grams of the Lotion Pro, 32 grams of the Settle Alcohol, 80 grams of the Shea Butter, 
2.4 grams of sodium carbamer, 40 grams of caprylic capric triglyceride, and then 8 grams of the dimethicum. So we're going to take both of phase A and phase B, and we're going to cover them both with some foil. Place them in a water bath. A water bath is like a pan with like an inch of water over your stove top on medium heat. And wait until everything in phase B has melted. Then grab phase A, remove it from heat, and replace any water that evaporated from earlier. Remember we wrote down that number? Now we're going to remove phase B and pour the phase A into phase B and mix with an immersion blender. This is a high shear mixer and you want to mix until any chunks that you see are gone. Make sure you don't see any chunks, then you can quit mixing. And you immediately get this gorgeous, gorgeous, thick viscosity that's kind of like jiggly. That's the best way I can describe it. So I transferred it to a bowl to add in the phase C ingredients, which is 1.6 grams of vitamin E, and then four grams of Liquid Dermal Plus, this is the preservative, and then eight grams of my fragrance oil. And you just want to mix everything together. And you have this gorgeous body butter consistency. It's definitely so much softer than the like at home anhydrous body butters, but it will remind you exactly of a store-bought body butter. So let's check the pH. I'm going to take a small beaker, add a little bit of the body butter in it, because we don't want to put the pH meter directly into our body butter because we don't want to contaminate it because our pH meter isn't sanitized. So grab a little beaker or I guess 250 milliliter beaker. That's what I normally use and fill it with some distilled water to rinse off your pH meter and then dip your pH meter into your small little uh, sample. And the pH is 6.83. So since we're using sodium carbamer, the pH needs to be anywhere between six to 7.5. So honestly, we could keep it here, but I'm gonna take this solution of 50% citric acid. That's 50 grams of citric acid dissolved in 50% distilled water that is 50 grams of distilled water and I added in a couple drops and I just wanted to lower the pH a little bit and I got it down to like 6.12. If you want to know more about adjusting pH, go watch my video all about pH. I explained everything you need to know there. It's too much to cover in this video. So go watch that video. And I don't know where my footage went, but I divided up the body butter into three parts. I did one pink, one purple, and one blue and I used water soluble dyes. I will link them down below. And I figured I would try piping this cause I knew I'd get a lot of comments about that. And it was super easy to pipe, but what ended up happening is after it sat for like a day or so, the colors kind of bleed all together and you end up getting this kind of like ombre effect, which is super cool and pretty, but it's definitely not going to have that like separated color look like those anhydrous whipped body butters do that you see sold on etsy and stuff they have those like gorgeous colors like the truly uh unicorn fruit body butter i don't know it's like viral like a couple years ago and probably still people still kind of viral i don't know people see it everywhere and that's where i got the inspiration for this little like example anhydrous body butter i made for this video yeah actually i posted a reel of me making this and everyone seems to want the formula so I'll share the formula of this anhydrous, uh, kind of like truly unicorn fruit dupe, I guess. And yeah, I'll share that formula to this. But yeah, the colors do stay separated in a body butter like this. I kind of lost my train of thought. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it answered some of the questions you had about body butters. I'm a song.